We're home here at Publicon. There is my entry, number 45 under the So, uh, let's see how it is. Lots of competition. We'll see you in the next uh, part. Thanks. Just going back to the car to drop off the old Army transport bag, carrying that thing around as a pain. There is the uh, Hyatt Regency by in Burlingame. <laughs> And I guess there's plenty. They've got a game out front with all these people. Not a lot of war game. A few little skirmish games. Uh, no 40k that I saw. There might have been something last night or like a little tournament they had. But uh, uh, Ron, I forgot his name. The guy from uh, um, God, what is it called? Hot Metal um, Painting. I signed up for his seminar at one o'clock on uh, blending, and uh, I'll probably put that in the video to clarify it. He's got a couple videos out there that's uh, very uh, well known. They sell them on Cool Mini or not. Probably on eBay too. But um, that's it for right now. Uh, you saw that I got my entry in and uh, it's in the bottom of the case. I wish I put it in days ago, but oh well, you can't uh, avoid that. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, I have to take that back on the 40K thing. This is a whole uh, pavilion tent for the Medicaid towards by the pool. All kinds of uh, war games and everything going on. Awesome armies. And I'm gonna take a look around and I'll be back. Thanks. Here's an annual display by Power Play Gaming. I'm a member of the Kickstarter, and I guess you'll be a group of old war gamers in a couple weeks back or, or over the UK, just back in the UK. Um, pretty cool looking stuff. Can't wait to get mine. And we'll see you in the next section. Hey, I'm back. Uh, this is the whole tent. It's kind of stuffy here with all the people, but it's awesome. It looks like something full well, of wedding too. Beautiful chandeliers and lighting. There's a dance floor in the middle. This whole side is all 40k. And then the other side looks like Flames of War mostly. It's other games, and I will check back in. Um, some really cool painted arms, a real badass uh, Imperial Guard, and then some uh, good Necron arms. Some really cool stuff, not your usual uh, metal stuff. A lot of like. Uh, stone colors and things like that and uh, I will check in in a few thanks for joining hey everyone uh, the battle wagon made it back home only had one little problem my uh Command Orc's uh, big shooter kept breaking off, so I had to kept glue that on a couple times, but it survived. And we'll start with the good part of what happened at Kubla Khan. I got a really cool t-shirt. Um, it says Kubla Khan. It's got zombies and a chainsaw on it. I got a few of the uh, commemorative pins for Kubla Khan 2013. Got Kubla Khan and like a zombie hunter with a chainsaw and a shotgun. And I got a limited edition Kubla Khan miniature with a sword and his little, you know, Mongolian outfit, I guess. And then, oh, I got another pin, different color. And then uh, one of the big vendors there was Zombie Smith. They make a couple games. I don't remember off the top of my head, but. This is their company. Check them out. They had some really cool games. Some board games and some uh, really cool, I think it was 15 millimeter or maybe a bit bigger. It was smaller than Warhammer stuff. And they made a Kubla Khan zombie, zombie Hunter actual miniature. Totally awesome. And then I did the uh, hot lead class for uh, blending with uh, Laszlo... Yo, Yakuzaski, I think his name is. I'm sorry for uh, ruining that. Uh, he's at hot-lead.org. Uh, you'll see it, I think, right before this. You saw it, I put it in because uh, I was trying to remember him in the parking lot. I couldn't do that. And there's a picture of his uh, class right there. Let me that for a second. And then I attended uh, Mr. Justin, the owner of Secret Weapon Miniatures. Um, Pigment class, which I've done in Sacramento, but they had another one here. You can always use a, a brush up. And there's a picture of that right there. And that was awesome. I got to hang out with Mr. Justin. I actually talked to both the gentlemen for a while. I had a, a cocktail with Mr. Justin, a really cool guy. Uh, really deserves where he is. He's a hard worker. 
and a very uh, business-minded person besides being very creative, which is obvious. He was a competitor in the uh, 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 competition as a, uh, in the master class, which was awesome. This was my first um, organized uh, competition I've ever been in. Um, I did that one with um, uh, Temple Crusade. I think it was his 3,000 subscriber contest, and that was through Model Mates. And I did that uh, running um, uh, converted uh, ultramarine sergeant on the, it was like a, a decorative base. That's how I, I got that. So that was my first, I guess, technical win. But um, this was a good experience. I didn't expect to get much out of it, but the experience was really good. And now for the awesome part. Uh, drum roll, please. I got the gold medal. Um, for open class, I didn't uh, compete in master class. I'm not at that level yet and uh, hopefully be there someday. But I uh, competed in open class. I got gold medal for large miniature. So I am totally stoked. There's my Kublai Khan gold medal. Uh, Kublai Khan 2013. I believe this is with their 10th anniversary. And uh, congratulations to all the other winners. One gentleman, Dave, I can't remember his last name. He won um, uh, Best of Show and won a automatic qualification into Adepticon for the uh, Crystal Rush Award and got free airfare. It was amazing. So um, this was awesome. I can't wait till my next competition. This is totally gets me jazzed and wanting to uh, do more of this work. And it's something I love to do. I mean, it's something I haven't done since I was a child. Took it up about not even two years ago. And just really, really feel passionate about it. And did not expect anything. And when they started calling out awards, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get a bronze. Because this is a beautiful work in there. And I don't want to show anyone else's stuff because I don't give you the permission. Go to the Kublai Khan's uh, Facebook, uh, obviously. And I don't know if this year's up yet, last year's up. And you'll see a lot of people uh, um, uh, that competed this year. And this is crazy. A lot of these guys are professional painters and paint for companies. And that was really cool to uh, be amongst all those people. So um, thank you for joining me. And thank you guys for all your support. I almost did not want to go the night before. I broke the gun off. And it wasn't looking right to me. And um, I do have to thank um, Laszlo, uh, the guy that did the hot lead uh, seminar. I did use, I have his DVDs. I have the other one also. It's in my DVD player. And I have to admit, the wet blending helped me tremendously on the orc skin and other things watching him. And then um, Secret Weapon Miniature, Mr. Justin, going to his pigment class. I used tons of his pigments. Uh, Secret Weapon Clay Brown, I probably, this is my second container of this. Do it on all my, obviously all over this, all over the uh, truck itself. I use it on all my terrain pieces. And then um, my secret to get the good metals was the uh, Secret Weapon Armor Wash. Using that over and over, nice layers, it really gives it a more realistic look than just doing a bad dab black or Nolan oil or whatever it is now. Uh, Secret Weapon is obviously, um, it's a really high quality product. And he'll explain it to you and also he'll tell you well, there's another product that's even close to his that, you know, that's, he, he's not going to, doesn't down talk anyone. Really, really good businessman, a really good artist, obviously. Uh, he won in the master class, I forgot what he one, but he, uh, I want he won a couple prizes. So um, that is it. Thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you in the next project. And hopefully, we start one of those in the next couple days. Thanks again, people.